Much peace and love. Y'all already know what time it is. This must still trip. I'm trying to get it right, but it won't let me rotate it. Let me go ahead and uh get my incense ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get a sec. Don't you hear my line unless it's by the sec. Yes, sir. Come on, boy, ready to. Yeah, a little something, man. A little something, something. Who remember Bro Sadiq from the picture that I had? Remember Bro Sadiq? I know y'all remember R. Kathy. I mean, damn, I don't say R. Kathy. <clears throat> Queen Ill. My bad, I might have said R. Kathy. R. Kathy was in the game. Everybody remember Cuz Cuddy. I forgot that other sister name too. It was another sister from Cali too. She was up in the pit. Yeah, but much peace and love, man. I'm just trying to get a sack. Cook. Get my bottle together. Hold on, I love this little bottle, you know what I'm saying? Uh, much peace and love, much peace and love. Yeah, I'm just getting my little, my little canteen in order. Getting everything together, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to, um, I wanted to make this live. I wasn't going to really do it at first, but you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to talk about it one more time a little bit. I know one bro, he was on like a 18 and 10 line. You know what I'm saying? He was like, he was amazed that I wasn't upset about losing. The money and stuff like that or whatever. But once again, you know, just to dig into it a little bit more. My situation is just a little bit different, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a rap, I'm a rap about it again, you know what I'm saying? Cause uh you know, just to get a little understanding on it or whatnot. And how everything been and stuff like that, you know how everything uh been going, you know what I mean, what not. Yeah, so I hope everybody been having a good day and all that. JT probably up in here right now. <laughs> shout out to JT if you up in here. You know, shout out to Cuz Cuddy, 18 and 10. You know, I wish the best for everybody. Everybody who is going through with uh, whatever they got to go through with to get their bread. I ain't mad at you, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Nah, I mean, I should have got my linen, man. I think I got me a linen. Hold on. You know, I gotta give me a little, a little drink to the side real quick. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. First off, you know what I'm saying? Just to start it off, you know, I wasn't never around JT. You know what I mean? I, I, I was mad. I wasn't mad at myself. It was just a foolish thing to do, and I ain't have to buy no land from it. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, real light TV. Shout out, shout out. Yeah, I, I, I respect, like you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, I think it was. I think I was watching. Uh, I think I was watching uh, one of your lives one time, and I think uh, it was like he was uh, talking about losing some bread. So shit, I ain't mad at that at all. Yeah. Go get your bread, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely go get your bread, you know what I mean? Do what you got to do, you know what I mean? Real shit, you know what I mean? And, and I think uh, I think at and Tim, I think he uh, lost like five bands. I forgot what it was that Cuz Cuddy, I think that Cuz Cuddy was talking about, I think, 10 or something like that. I think that was a different circumstance, too, like... It was on other business things and stuff like that, too. But it was some bread about some land, too, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I ain't buying no shea butter from or nothing like that. Just a little piece of little land or whatever. The big problem was, you know what I'm saying, I, it was foolish on my behalf because I wasn't even around any. You know, I, I know he was probably shocked, like, 
when I came out there, I, I you know when I'm mad at him about, bro. I mean, I, I'm glad I mean, you know what I am mad at him about. Bro, deleted our video. I should have downloaded it, man. He deleted a lot of videos, though. You know what I'm saying? A lot of videos where he was out there with a lot of brothers and sisters. Much love, much love. Oh, yeah. I forgot, I forgot bro, a name. Who, who was, uh, I forgot, bro, a name that was on at and Tim uh, Live, who was asking, you know what I'm saying? Why I wasn't tripping off of it or whatever, you know what I mean? But I was... I was, I was upset with myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. I wasn't upset with myself because my situation was a lot different. Like, I I know he was shocked, like, uh, like damn. I thought he was going to come out here and, you know, he was going to kick it with me or whatever like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? He was going to be on the mission. Like, Sadiq, I don't know if uh, a lot of y'all remember the light-skinned brother that's on the... Uh, that's on a uh, little photo I had put in the French, you know what I mean? Bro, Sadiq, he had got some land. He actually, and this is another thing. I ain't even get to go see the land. Everybody got to go see the land, pull up, you know what I'm saying? Must be some little everybody pulling in. Salute, salute. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to go see the land. I didn't get to go see no land and nothing like that. It, it wasn't like, I just, um wasn't allowed or something like that. It was just that, you know, uh, I wasn't nowhere around. You know what I mean? I know they were surprised on how quick I shook because as soon as I got out there, I seen I seen JT like one like one or two times and then I shook straight to the village. I was out in the village the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel, I feel you on that, you know what I mean? I respect everybody who uh, coming after their bread or whatever like that, you know what I mean? But my little punk ass band ain't nothing compared to 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 everybody who put money in on shea butter, buying land, you know what I'm saying? So however y'all go handle y'all business, I respect it, you know what I'm saying? And I think by the time I came back out to the Capitol, I think uh he probably was already in position to sell the land because when I came back out to the capital, that's when he was trying to get me to transfer over to Kenya. And I was like, nah, I'm, I'm you know, I ain't trying to transfer. Then that's when I had in my mind, you know what? Let me go ahead and just buy, buy my little, uh, buy my little land. I, I forgot. I posted, uh, I posted that. I'll make a video about it so I can blur out certain things on my, um, on my paperwork or whatever. But yeah, man. How I was looking at it, it was like everybody else got a chance to see how things was going. I ain't get to really see how shit was going with other people that was out there in the capital with them. You see what I'm saying? Like right next to them. So that's why it's like a thing where I didn't know about a lot of that shit. The way I was looking at it, uh, everything was on the up and up. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the village. And uh, my bad, man. My hand might be a little shaky, man. I was cutting the grass, and so my damn my my arms is tired, bro. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. The way it was looking to me while I was out in the village was damn everything going up. I think uh, I think I think uh, they had built a little crib on the land after they started building. I'm like, okay, so shit. Shit, shit taking off now. I see everything going up, you know what I'm saying? Cause Cuddy out there, he doing his thing, you know, by the time uh that one bruh had died out there in the capital, you know, that's when my shit started taking off, you know what I'm saying? And in the village, man, the village life, it was just lit, bro. It was just like I ain't seen nothing about the capital, you know what I mean? The thing that made me go back to the capital was because they played me in the village. You know, I supposed to got land in the village, but they ain't never give it to me. It was something about it. They didn't want to really talk to me about it. You know what I mean? But long story short, I'll probably talk about that another day. But, you know, I was like, man, you know, I'm going to go ahead out to the, uh, the Capitol again. Hit it back out to the Capitol. You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and snatch me some land or whatever. Go look at some different lands. And, you know what I mean? I looked at a, a lot of different lands. And uh, I felt good too, just getting my own anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I looked at it two way street like shit. 
I got the little land with JT, so I got some extra land, you know what I mean? But who knows, you know, man, one day we probably can work something out, you know what I mean? Man, that nigga can transfer it to some American land he talking about. He, he talking about building American land, ain't he? Yeah, hey, yeah, transfer that to your whatever. I got plenty of American land, though, but I'll take, I'll take that one, though. Yeah, so you could transfer my Burkina Faso land to whatever land you got going on in America or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, I do that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do that one, you know. To Kenya though, I ain't like that. And uh I ain't like the idea of, you know what I mean? And then at that point I really ain't know where it was heading. And I was just like, man, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I got the land, I got this going on, you know, the uh the Queen L thing, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy too, you know. At that time when all this shit was going down, it was kinda like a lot of shit I just was like, man, I ain't trying to be in the middle of. And you know what? I'm going to just stay focused. You know, I had just released the album while I was out there. I recorded a whole album. I was trying to hurry up and get that done. You know what I'm saying? I was sending my little sister money back because she had just had a baby. You know, shout out to my nephew. You know what I mean? So I was up. I was doing pretty good, man. I still am doing good. You know, I'm doing real good and shit. And that ain't, that ain't the point, though. The point is, did that really piss me off how he played it? I can't really say it pissed me off because I went never around him. It was like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even talked to him about it. We talked a few times, though. Like, uh, JT, he was actually supposed to shoot a video for me. I was going to have him uh, shoot a video for me for one of my songs on the album. But then he started, he started having so many problems that we really got disconnected, you know what I'm saying? And, um... Uh, he was actually, he was going to do it for me. He was, this one I had got back to the Capitol. Then I was chopping it up, but he was going through some shit. He had some problems. And I don't know, uh, I done heard a lot of things, but, you know, I don't know necessarily about what was going on. And then, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, fuck, that's why I ain't never shoot no music video in Africa. I was going to do that too out there. But I was just like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I just get to the business when I get to it, you know? And then, you know, them leaving, it just put everything in a, in a weird space for a minute, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, whole foundation went up from there, and then Queen L was the head, and she was running shit. You know, I was ch I chopped it up with her a few times, but you know, I was to myself the whole time, but I chopped it over her. We went to a soccer game, you know, we went out to a soccer game. Me, kids, her kids, you know what I'm saying? We went out to go eat after that. Just chopped it up, chill. And I went on about our day or whatever. I, I think, well, how many times? I think that was probably the only time I really kicked with her. There might have been one other time, too. We just chill. But I ain't never talked to her like that. Because I ain't want to be in between, you know what I'm saying? They little issue, because JT was talking shit. JT was talking big shit at that time. Like, he was online. And he was going ham on the boat foundation and going back and forth, going on from her. And then that's when I started doing a lot of interviews too. I had already did a couple of interviews. Then more started rolling in behind, you know what I'm saying, what Queen Ill and him had going on. So a lot of people started reaching out to me to do interviews. Ain't nobody really asked me nothing about no JT or nothing like that. It was one bro who, uh, <laughs> it was one bro, I forgot his name. But you know what I'm saying? He kept it real though. He he ain't uh take it to the the online the live we was doing, you know what I'm saying? He ain't take it to that. He just, you know what I'm saying, rap with it afterwards, you know what I'm saying, on how you know what I'm saying, like damn, that's crazy how things going or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, hey. You know what I mean? But uh overall I ain't upset with him about the man. I almost said that nigga delete the videos though, man. I hope, I know you still got him though. I know JT still got the video like when I first landed in Burkina Faso and then he, him and Chalky had pulled up dropped off some food you know what I'm saying then we chopped it up for a little second and went on about that way then you know later on we pulled up to the crib and then I had chopped it up with him and shit like that you know what I'm saying telling him why I was out there I know he was like damn he was probably like damn I ain't even I thought you was uh pulling up out here and you was gonna be posted in the capital, I'm like, nah, bro, I'm gone. I'm gonna go straight to the village. And I was over in the village for like six, seven months straight. You know what I mean? Then by the time I came back to the capital, 
you know, it was a lot of shit going on, man. And I was shocked as hell that he just shook up out of there like that. It was, it was, I ain't gonna say it was uncomfortable for me. And it, I knew it ain't had nothing to do with me. You know, it was about the Bo Foundation and Queen Ill situation they was having. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to be involved in none of that, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, damn, you for the shake, you right? going out to Kenya. And then Kenya looked at expensive too, bro. I ain't go cap, you know, in Burkina Faso. You know, I was like, I can I can do that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, damn, I ain't no uh it says, so you mad now. <laughs> you gotta go back to the beginning, man. If you, if you think I'm mad, I was watching I was watching Cuz Cuddy Live, right? Damn, what did he say? Uh Damn, I forgot, I forgot what he said, man. It was hella funny, but it was like uh controversy says, you know what I'm saying? If you think I'm mad, you know, it is what it is. If they talk about bush meat they eat over there. They be eating rats and shit. Is it really monkey meat? No, that's rat meat. That's rat. They be eating. I don't know. I ain't never uh, known them to do that in Burkina Faso, but I, I was hip on Ghana doing that. I watched videos of them doing it. You know what I'm saying? I was really watching it. Shout out, shout out. Much peace and love, North Bay Plumbing Services. Okay, okay. I, li I like the name of that. You got something going on. Do your thing. Yeah, it's a rat. It's like a big ass rat. They hunt them. You know what I'm saying? Set up little traps and they get them and they eat them. They eat them rats out there, man. Yeah, they, be eating, they be eating all type of shit. But you know, in Burkina Faso, uh, I ain't see them eating nothing strange. It was just like some fish, chicken, uh, like whole chicken. So they had whole chickens, you know, uh, goat. And you know, everybody, everybody be eating their pork here and there. I was surprised about that. Cause you know, they real, it's a lot of Islamic things going on out there. So I'm surprised to see them eat pork out there. You know what I'm saying? Let me get into some of the comments before I dig back in. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who pulled up, you know what I'm saying? Ugh, it's like somebody tried to eat. Ugh. Uh, you know what? I did hear I did hear in Burkina Faso when I was in the village, matter of fact, about uh them eating monkeys. I did hear about that. They say with the land prices in Ouagadougou looking like, man, they high, man. Yeah, the land high, man. They, you, you got low, you got low, uh, you got low prices. Like you got, um, you could walk into some, some about, about fifteen. You probably, you could probably get some around. They go try to finesse it too. You know what I mean? You could probably get some around fifteen to two bands, up to about, up. Just yeah, you could probably keep going up. Four minutes. They got a lot of land for sale, so I say I just say the lowest price you could probably spend is about twenty five hundred. You know what I mean? About fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred. You know what I mean? I'm helping a lot of people here in America. That's what's up, man. Is that? Hold on. Yeah, that's that's what's up, cause. Man, I, they, they was the rat, yeah. That was crazy, but you know, I had seen them. I seen them doing that in Ghana. You know what I mean? Not in person, but I had watched them on video. I forgot the one bro name. Um, I know he messed with Water Mai, but it's another guy, and I seen them out there hunting for. Them. They recorded it and everything. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they got some food, man. I, I say in the village, though, bro. The village food was way better than the capital, bro. Zabra food was the best, you know what I'm saying? They had the best soups. They had the best fish. They had the best uh, chicken. They had everything they whooped up. Everything was better in the village. But it, it was pretty good in, uh, in the capital, though. It was just a lot of different spots. Like, you coming down the main strip, and then there's so much food you can choose from. You know, some of it might get you sick, too. You know, uh, some of them probably don't care for things as much. Yeah, you go into random places. So that's the one thing I will say. Yeah, go out to Africa anywhere. Don't just be eating anywhere. 
You know what I'm saying? Find some good spots. You will get sick eating that certain spots. You know what I'm saying? Not saying they put nothing in it, but some stuff might not be. I just say it probably, it probably something you probably don't need to be eating because they didn't prepare, they didn't keep it up to par the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Probably something going a little bad or probably something that was sick when they, you know what I'm saying? When they got it prepared. Let's say rat is the national delicacy in China. Oh, yeah. Oh, they get down on that. How was the infrastructure in Ethiopia when you visit? Oh, man. First off, I love their planes, too, man. I love Ethiopian Airlines. That's the best plane I've ever been on. I give them their flowers on that. When I pulled up, now, you know, this is way different. This is this is one thing I say, man. It kind of remind me of that scripture, too, you know what I'm saying? When it was like um, how we look like the Ethiopians. Man, when I pulled up, the first thing, though, was the landing. It looked beautiful. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I'm like, damn, they look like this? Know what I mean? But when I pulled up, and, you know, we got off the plane and everything, everywhere I was going, it did look like it did look like all our people there. You know what I'm saying? It looked like all African Americans. And the only thing that was the difference was, you know, they got a little, they got like almost like a little, almost like a more uh, curly uh, hair texture. It's like it's curly and not as coarse as eyes. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nappy like eyes, you know. It, it'll get nappy, but. Well, it's a little straightening, a little bit of straightening, like the Migos say. You know what I mean? But it was cool, though, man. Everything looked good. Everything was, they had everything. You know what I mean? The food was good out there. They was cool. They was cool as hell. You know what I mean? They was cool. It was just a little dip. It wasn't like I was out there for a, a little while. I was just, it was just a little dip. You know what I mean? Went out there, chill for a little second, singing it. It was real nice. They was real cool, you know what I mean? It looked nice out there, though, man. It's like jerk red from the street, didn't it? Yeah, I don't They got them. I seen a video on some guy niggas eating cats. I believe it. I'm trying to think, man. I done seen, I done seen. Oh, you know what it is? I have seen the Burkina Faso. Um them eat dog meat, eat pig meat, you know what I'm saying, they had, it was a couple of spots, I remember I was buying my, uh, my outfit for my photo shoot, and I was buying my clothes, and we was going around the corner, we walked around the corner to the tailor, so he could give me all, so he give me straight, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, we went on hand to grab some food while we was over there, you know what I'm saying, they had some goat meat, had some, uh, had some pig, and it had some dog. Bro, bro, go ask me, do I want some? I'm like, hell yeah, no, nah, bro. Want no damn dog, bro. I don't want no pork. I don't want no dog. No. Ugh, bro. I'm like, I'll take a little bit of the goat, bro. With shish kebab stick, you know what I'm saying? I'll take a little bit of that, but I ain't trying to eat no pig and dog. They, they be having no dog. Jerk. I like, I, I, like, I want some jerk chicken. I got. I gotta go. To, I gotta go to Jamaica, man. I'm gonna have a good time, man. When I go, man, I've been talking about for a second. I got other th other things lined up, like um, I got some more videos coming, music videos. I got a lot of things with music going on right now. I decided to take a little pause and uh, go back on the live just after bro had hit me up and was telling me about things going on with Cuz Cuddy and JT. You know what I mean? So I was like, man, let me go ahead and get on there. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you, do they speak English in Ethiopia? Yeah. Yeah, they speak English out there. Everybody spoke English. I ran across. They talked it well. Everything was straight. You know what I mean? Yeah, they was cool. I know they got they, uh, I know they got their own language, but yeah, they spoke English very well. There wasn't no in between. It was way better than, uh, Burkina Faso because, but Kenny Foster already got in their mind that, that you that you really you really don't know they speaking three, four languages, you know what I'm saying? So they be switching it. Like, 
You know what I mean? Like if you go to a hood and them niggas just switching them, I'm like, damn, these niggas switching it. Like, I don't know what they talking about. Yeah, they be doing that Burkina Faso. I give them, I give them that boy. But yeah, in Ethiopia, everybody I ran across spoke very good English. Very good. They ain't even trying no in between and nothing like that. It was just straight English. I know they probably they probably speak some Arab out there too. I don't know. I don't know if they speak Arabic. They probably do though. I ain't even get to get in tune. Like, I went out there like that. You know what I'm saying? Burkina Faso was my time. I stayed out there for a whole year. And then uh, I went up to, I went to Niger. I pulled up in Niger. I'm trying to think of my airplane trips, too. There's a couple of stops I made. And, you know, I just took a look around before my uh, flight. It was a couple places. But Niger was nice, too. But Ethiopia was beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? Ethiopia was real beautiful, you know what I mean? Uh, I know one day I'll, I'll take a trip back out to Africa, maybe, you know, um, and be heading to the land and get things straight in Burkina Faso. But I want to make a few trips, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of places you, you can go. It's a lot of countries, you know what I'm saying? But Jamaica's the top of my list, though. You know what I'm saying? Jamaica top of my list, you know. And uh, back to the JT shit, though. I'm mad about the video, you know what I'm saying? I think I wanted to watch it one day. This was a while ago. This was a while ago before I started seeing a whole bunch of stuff being deleted. But I wanted to watch the video. I'm like, man, let me, pull, let me go on uh, JT Paper. Of course, I could watch that video, man. I don't know why my dumb ass ain't just downloaded. Oh, I did. I know. I would have posted it back up. I ain't downloaded. I know you got it though. You probably watch it. If you got it, nigga, send email me that, nigga. And keep the little funky ass band, nigga. Send me, send me that video, man. When I pulled up, I, I still got the picture though. Now I got the little photo. That's when I had put on a, a, a live like a couple months ago. But this was about business. This was about business when I was talking about uh how I feel about JT. You know, a lot of y'all probably missed that one, but you know what I'm saying? I had posted up a lot, probably like a month or two ago. And um, I was talking about business in that one. This was around the time, uh, uh, like, when um, Young Thug situation and uh, Gunner talking in court and shit, you know what I'm saying? It was around that time that I made that live. You know what I mean? Because I was like, you know what? I got to play it off this, you know, because... It all go back around to nut, you know what I'm saying? In that situation, cause, cause I mean, cause um, JT started rapping about the situation that was going on with the, so I had made that live, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I peanut, you know what I mean? But uh, you know what I mean, like, I ain't got, I ain't got no, uh, I ain't got no, <laughs> I ain't got no dirt on my boots, <laughs> dirt on my boots. That's the JT movie. Yeah, but I ain't got no dirt on my boots, man. I'm Gucci, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping on JT or nothing like that. If I was in a different situation, yeah, I'd be mad about coming out of five bands. Will you? No, nah, bro. I dropped about five bands from my land that I got paperwork for. Yeah, I ain't giving it. Nah, hell no. Nah. I ain't got no shape but it under that shit from me, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't got no problem, you know? And while I was out there, I was doing, I, I was doing so well. You know, thanks to everybody who had subscribed and was watching. Uh, but my music was doing good before I had came to Africa. That had started going up. And a lot of people didn't know that I was a music artist. Because I, I, I wasn't doing no vlogs at first. You know, so I'm going to get to the comments and say, I wasn't doing no vlogs at first, though. The reason I started doing vlogging was because just to show my family and everybody who remember, I mean, everybody who know me. You know what I'm saying? They'd be able to see my adventures. So I had just started vlogging. And then shit, YouTube, but extra money. I kept telling her, go watch all my old lives, bro. I kept telling her, buddy, don't send me no money. I don't need your money. I don't need your money, but everybody who showed me uh, love, I appreciated that. You know, I appreciated that. You know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody who would send me something anyway or whatever. 50, her, 100, there. You know, my blessings came, bro. I ain't got nothing to be angry with. My blessings came. I made all my bread. You know, I'm I'm more upset that I just made a dumb move. Like I ain't have to pay that nigga for no land. I was coming out there, 
doing some whole other shit he didn't even know I was on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't come out there because of you. He probably thought at first I was on my way out there for him. Only reason why I, I would have went anywhere. Whatever the DNA test said, that's where I would have been. But because it said Bikini Fossil, that's why I was showing up. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, I, I was like, damn, okay. Let me read some of these comments. JT has puppy in Ethiopia. Are you interested in buying? Nah. Nah, I don't want to buy. I don't, I don't need to buy. Uh, I don't want to buy no land in Ethiopia. Do you live in America? Now, yeah, I'm back in America right now. I'm back in the land. I had to get some family things straight. You know what I'm saying? I had to get things together for my family. Which my family thanked me for. You know? We had a real good talks. So I had to come back and do that for my family. I had to come back and do that for my family. I went hard. I stuck my neck on the line. I was the sacrifice for my family. I did that. I got all our records, all our documents. I traveled to Africa. I've been there. I got land there. You know what I'm saying? Whatever we can do, we can do it all together. You know what I'm saying? We all good. You know, so I feel I feel good to get all our land that we actually have in America, all our family records, documents, things like that. And you know, take care of business when I was in Africa. And like I said before, I want to do, you know, not to get too off track though, but I wanted to read a couple of these messages. But yeah, I want to, I want to make my way around. You know what I'm saying? But shout out, shout out to Africa though. It's a lot of land. I remember I wanted to go to Nigeria too. Well, over to Nigeria. Nice welcoming with news and the people was out there. Oh yeah. Yeah, they, they showed me love, man, when I got to the village, you know what I mean? They showed me love when I got to the village, but it was like uh I just say overall they 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 don't they don't be they don't respect you coming out saying you got DNA tests. They don't respect it, but they showed me a lot of love. They showed me a lot of love, they helped me with a lot of things, but you know these tribe names is family names. It's just like somebody coming in your city, right? And they telling you they from the tribe, whatever your last name is. They from that tribe. You gonna be looking like they make a couple of phone calls, you know? So they make a couple of phone calls. Man, I heard of this motherfucker talking. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about it, you know. So it, it, they told me a lot of truth. And Zabra, Zabra was the best thing I did, bro. My life would have been way different. If I would have just went to the capital, this is what I'm saying, bro. This is why everything different with me. You know what I'm saying? Everything different with me. I ain't drop a bag on that nigga. I ain't drop a bag on JT like that. I gave him a little, some little change. I gave him some little change, but I made that change back. And I made change through his name that he owed me. I made that money back, too. Yeah, I made that money back. Legally, I know business, too. I know how to work the game. You know what I'm saying? I know how to work the algorithms. I know how to play the play. You know what I mean? I've been owning my own business since 2011. I went to school for business. So I know how to work a business. You know what I'm saying? I do very well. You know what I mean? I was in Africa. I did very well. That's why I was telling everybody, watch my life. I was telling everybody, don't be sending me no money. Don't send me no money. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want no donations and nothing like that. And I was out there showing them love. In many situations, arguments, helping people out. But I didn't want to talk about that neither. They was trying to talk. I don't want to talk about this. They, they would get mad at me because I wasn't doing, I wasn't, I wasn't showing them love and then trying to record it and do all of that. I don't want to show, I don't want to do that, bro. I'm cool on that. If I want to show you some love, I'm just show you some love. You know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how good I was doing, you know what I mean? I'm doing well enough to where I'm taking care of my five kids and my wife. We got everything. I'm paying everything. Food, electric, phones, internet. They got the PS4 out there at the time playing that. I was inviting the kids in the village into the crib. They was coming in the crib playing. They kept coming, trying to eat, you know what I'm saying? That shit like they're doing, you know what I'm saying? It was a little hectic in the village with all their kids would be trying to come over there and chill at the crib. I got tired of that after a while. But you know what I mean? Overall, though, I just like to keep things low key, you know what I'm saying? How I'm moving and shit, you know? So that's why a lot of things are confusing to people. But overall, once again, I wasn't around JT. I wasn't nowhere around him. 
I was way away having a whole different adventure, bro. But I remember, uh, like the bro I was talking about, right? That's uh, I'm gonna get back to the comments, but the bro that's on the photo with all of us, you know, you see Cuz Cuddy on there, Queen L, you know, then to the other side, you see me and Sadiq. That's the brother Sadiq. While I was out there and I was really turned up in the village, he'd be calling me. I remember him calling me a couple of times. Shout out to him too. I mean, he, he done got married to a woman. I, I forgot what land he had went to, if y'all remember Sadiq. I forgot what land he went to or whatever. But he got mad at JT. He got mad at the situation. He shook and, and he got him a wife and he just shook to whatever country uh, she was from. But he had ball land and everything. He was upset and everything. But at the time, before he was really upset about the land, um, he was upset about how the power is out there because it'll be thunderstorms and electricity be going out. He'd be at the crib sitting in the dark. I was telling the nigga, bro, come out to the village, bro. We had a, we had a, like a mini mansion. The, the crib was so nice that it was enough room that he could have a room. I was telling him about that. We was telling him about that. He could have pulled up to the village. Because he had came out to the village, right? This thing, he came out to the village one time, right? And they, they took him to the king or whatever. It was him, uh, Bokery, and uh, they had just took a picture with the king. But when I came to the village, bro, they ushered me in. It was a huge ushering, bro. And it was different. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, I say, bro, go back, go back, go back and watch. Go back to the beginning of my videos, man. You really did understand why my, my energy is kind of different. I could understand other people's mindset. But, bro, I was blessed. You know what I'm saying? I was blessed to find peace for real, man. I came out there. I was at peace, man. We was eating so good. We was chilling. You know, you just had your little, your little, uh, disagreements or whatever, things you don't know, like, you know, they play their game. You know, it's just like in the States or whatever when it comes to that. But overall, though, I had a good time. In the, I had a way better time in the village than, uh, than in the capital. By far. You know what I'm saying? By far. You know what I mean? I had a way better adventure. And, and, and the adventure that I had in the capital it was like it wasn't horrible. It was just like living the city life. You know, it was more. It was more stores. They got downtowns and stuff like that. And it was just kind of like I ain't really like being around it. You know what I'm saying? Too too much. But it was like you know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be back in the in the village. I'm gonna be back in the village. So I was gonna pull back up in the village too. But I wanted to go and take her, just get my land and everything to her. So once I bought the land, everything was straight. But yeah, they was mad about that in the village that I went out and, and bought some land. All oh, went out to the capital. They wanted me to come back to the village. I'm like, damn, I was in the village. I was I was in the village so long that they interviewed me one time. I forgot what they put it on. I think it was like a radio or a news thing they did. And the dude saw me, and uh, he was like, you still out here? I'm like, yeah. Man, he still ain't give me. I seen the mayor. I seen the king. And multiple times, I was there for multiple different functions. I was there front row. Front row, that's that's how they greeted. Like, they treated me with love, man. I give them that. They treated me with love. Anything that happened, I was front row. I was getting greeted. I was getting, you know, met by everybody. But then it kind of started looking like, you know, I don't, I'm not a celebrity, bro. I don't, I don't move. I understand that. I understand. I respect it if you look at me like that. I don't like to move that way, though. You know, I don't want to move as a celebrity. And I, I yeah, yeah, shit. If y'all can make y'all a little bread off that, the fact that I'm hearing this and that, but it got to, they was kind of trying to show me more than. All right, bro, this your land. And then it got to a point where I was trying to go ahead and buy the land. I felt like, fuck it, I'll buy the land. I thought y'all was going to give it to me, but I'll buy it, bro. Then it just got weird. It was like, man, you know what, man? Let me go ahead out to the capital because 
the father going back out to the capital, I know where everything getting. At least I'll be, you know what I'm saying, the more in the more upscale place, you know what I'm saying? Because in the village, I'm having to travel from the village to four villages over just to get to an ATM. And that was like a no, bro. If they had an ATM right there in the village, I probably would have tripped off a lot of things. But it was like, man, that's too much back and forth. Then we got to steady get stopped by police because there's so much stuff going on. So they steadily stopped. I went through a lot of things. So while I'm going through these things, I'm not thinking about JT or the land. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to get, get to the comments, but you see what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm not upset at JT. I'm living, I'm living life out there. I'm sitting out there watching them uh, pick peanuts out the ground. You know what I'm saying? They making me peanut necklaces. They out there giving me goats. They gave me two goats and like three chickens or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all got to understand. My life was different. I didn't come out to Burkina Faso and stay in the capital and try to figure things out and... And I just bought land from JT, and that's why I'm not upset with that. Like, I, it was way different. And then when I came back, he was already gone. He ain't leave because of me. I'm just one nigga, like, coming about some land. So, that motherfucker could be like, he probably left because of you came back out to the nah. Because there was plenty of people coming out there and the tension store, right? I could say he probably left a cup. He didn't expect that many people to start coming out there. He was probably thinking about, like, damn, hell, the niggas is coming out here and I got, you know what I'm saying? So maybe, I don't know, but the whole time I'm tripping off that shit, man. Then I was looking at it like, uh, if we all in the same quarters, however, uh, however thing will, things will be cut in the sections have we all be in the same quarters so all so-called african americans we're out there right we all in the same like village this nigga really this nigga really owned like he owned the village but it just ain't get took care of it's just like and then you know the paperwork and get took care of right I mean, it wasn't nothing built on it. That was confusing. Like, damn, ain't nothing being built. But everybody got to see that. I ain't never even get to see it. You know what I mean? Let me get to the comments one time. Shout out to Lagos. What's your position on investing in Jamaica? I'm trying to go out to Jamaica. I ain't trying to go out to Jamaica any day. I'm trying to go out to Jamaica. I got I got people in Jamaica, like, like some partners from Jamaica and everything. I'm trying to go out there, pull up. In a village, kick it, have a good time, smoke good, eat good, you know what I'm saying? Let them get their rocks off or whatever, you know what I'm saying? While I go live, whatever, whatever. When, when I make that move or whatever, just show them some love and be back. And then let them know if they want to pull up wherever, pull up, you know what I'm saying? But I, I probably, if, if it's the right if it's the right thing, I probably uh, I probably try to invest in some land or whatever. But uh, it's really not a big thing. But I do wanna I do wanna get some land. I've been talking about that for a second. I probably snatch some land in, um, in Jamaica, but it's got to be in the right areas. Like um, it's a few places I've been thinking about hitting in Jamaica. But I want to hit up a. Um, I don't even know which spot I wanted to hit up for real, for real. I had a couple spots though. My family was talking about going out there with you too. But uh Yeah, I'm just trying to go out there, pull up and chop up, chop it up with him. You know what I'm saying? I came out like going to Zabra. Going to Zabra, they helped me to learn. Going and talking to the people is more important than you trying to establish something right off the top. You know what I'm saying? It depends, like, uh, you know, people might be making their bread. Like, I was making my bread. How I was making my money, I was making money off my music. You know what I'm saying? But then I got blessed to where, uh, look, YouTube monetization. And that's for sending in a little, little something here and there. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? I could stretch that out there or whatever, you know what I mean? So it was like a... Have, having you a little something like to where you can utilize it might be anything you know what I'm saying you might you might have like the plumbing business I had just I had saw 
You might have something like that, but you can have somebody stay behind, take care of certain things, and the money still rolling. However you want to do it, just have you some set up, though, and, you know, uh, have a plan set up and have things going. So it was just like when I touched down out there and how far you could stretch the money, I was good. Like, for the, I ain't going to say how, how many years I was good for. <laughs> have too many people ask a question. But, you know, so I, I was okay. You know what I'm saying? I was blessed enough to be able to be all right and chill for a whole year straight. And uh, until I decided to, you know what? Why the hell I ain't take care of like these type of things in America? I should have I should have got land. I went out there, talked to my family. I went to America, talked to my family. You know, talked to my grandma, talked to my pops, talked to everybody. Sisters pulled up on everybody. Boom, boom. Know what I mean? But yeah, I can't wait to pull up in them, uh, at some other lands, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me go, let me get to the comments. Hold on, my bad, my bad. Yeah, shout out to Legos again, though. Indeed, your motion app was. I appreciate it, man. See, that's the thing, too. It really started turning up. And I and they have tribal situations too, man. Like the Bissa didn't want me around the Mossy. You know, I will say that and JT was around the Mossy and he was doing his thing, but me being in the village, I was lit. I was I had the village lit. You know, so I had the village turned up. They I, I knew they was turned up when they they cut the power out for like half the day. Like during the day they had cut the power out, right? And then in the night, they'll cut it back on. This was going on for like a week. And I'm like, man, what the hell going on? The next thing you know, they had new street lights. All new uh, solar panel street lights. They built all that up. They built a brand new club. They brought their biggest artists there to perform. They tried to get me to perform. I was like, nah, bro, you got to give me a bag. They was mad about that. That happened a few times where people tried to get me to perform. I was like, nah, bro, you got you to gotta pay me, bro. I'm sorry. I can't even just perform for you. And it was two times where I was just go perform off the love, but it didn't work out. So when things ain't supposed to happen, they ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? JT had different intentions out there. Hey, yeah, JT had some things going. No, I had I had actually seen uh like I had like let me bring it back again. I didn't know JT. I didn't know JT. You know what I'm saying? So. I didn't learn about like uh the whole situation, him getting shot in Atlanta until I got to Burkina Faso. Then when I learned about that, that's when I learned about how he met with Balker. That's when I learned about how they pulled up and Fatu, y'all remember Fatu that was with the Bo Foundation? She talked to me, me and me and her kicked it a lot. You know, we did a lot of business together. You know what I'm saying? We did a lot of business together, things I I wanted to take care of on other things. I don't want to speak too deep on it, but I did that with Fatu. So when I was with Fatu, even going out to, uh, I, for, I forgot the, uh, I forgot the, I forgot the village name we went to, but we went to a few villages, met with a lot of kings. But yeah, when I was with Fatu, she was letting me know about, you know, uh, like the situation where they came to America. That was when her and Bokery came together to meet up with JT to get him to come to, to come to Burkina Faso. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, everything has started making sense. You know what I mean? Everything has started making sense how he was busting his move. You know what I mean? But I feel like he just, I feel like it took a second. But I definitely know, you know what I mean? That he probably, you know, I definitely know if a nigga pop me, I'll, I'll probably have a chip on my shoulder even going out there. I ain't saying that he used that and then took it out on his own people or nothing. I'm, saying, I'm just saying that I can understand how a motherfucker would be after getting shot, you know what I'm saying? You survive, you was blessed. You want, to do, you want to do some different things in your life, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like everything didn't work out of it didn't work out how a lot of people thought it might have worked out. Probably been watching it for years. You know, I, it's been a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? 
would have been our own community day. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That he, you had that, bro. I ain't worried about it, bro. I ain't worried about nothing like that. I ain't got no strife to get shot. I don't wish jail on more nigga either. I feel like with this fed, uh, case or whatever, I was like, man, what the hell? Is you got a case on it? If that do happen, I hope it's just money. Since I hope niggas ain't getting took to jail. I don't wish jail, jail on nobody. I wish, you know what I said? How I move, I move street with it. So if, if I got a problem with you like that, I'm trying to see your heads up with it. I would never be on no shit where reach another level and I be trying to chase this nigga around for a thousand dollars. Like, man, uh, if anything, I, I'm i not even making money on my YouTube. Right? I don't make no money on my YouTube right now. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I just keep making videos about you and boost up my shit and get my asses money. And if, if that was the case, it'd probably be the last video I even. I done talked about it enough. The only reason why I wanted to make, make this live because bro was uh in Tim in AT and Tim uh live and he was just like confused about it. I'm like, bro, if you confused about it for real, for real, you really don't know me. You really don't know nothing about me, you know what I'm saying? And you need to go back to my page, start from the beginning, bro. Start from the beginning and tell me which video you see JT in. You know what I'm saying? Only thing you will probably see is a couple of times I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out JT or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I was never around them. I went never around them. I was for, I put the blame on myself like, nigga, you ain't even have to do that, bro. Yeah, but, like, I ran through like I, I ain't have to I ain't have to buy no car out there neither. I ain't have to buy no motorcycles out there neither. Ban at the band at the band at the band at the band at the band. You know what I'm saying? I could have kept having drivers. I could have kept having other people take care of things. You know what I'm saying? I could have kept doing it. I could have kept doing it. I just handled things, you know what I'm saying, a little differently. Like JT ain't had drivers. I mean JT had drivers. I didn't want no driver. You see what I'm saying? Like, things a little different. Other people came, and then they was comfortable with having drivers. They was comfortable hopping on the back of somebody's motorcycle. I don't want to hop on your motorcycle, nigga. Pull up. And then either you probably hop on my motorcycle, or either we'll just pull up together. And that's how it was. You know what I'm saying? It got to the point where I was rolling around so much. To where it was a norm like everybody was just like oh yeah man it's, yeah that's bro you know what i'm saying that's bro rolling around the city you know what i mean i was going far i was driving from the crib all the way to downtown going to the studio you know what i'm saying coming home at like four o'clock i'm gonna driving far like a, by, about a 20 minute drive on a motorcycle you see what i'm saying like so my mindset was it was way different, man. No downfall to nobody. Like I said before, if you do got them problems or, you know, uh, especially over, y'all, y'all shit way more worth you having an issue than me. Yeah, it might have been a lot of people. This is another thing, too, just to get back before I, before I even say that, before I forget this. Like, bro was like, man, I was confused on his reaction and then... You know, it's a lot of people that have done this with a, but how many of them came? If you spend money on some land and then you never bust a move, why? Why? Why even why do it? It's probably a lot of people that is like that, but you gotta think different. If you never bust no kind of move, you ain't thinking about doing that, you ain't thinking about going nowhere. You yeah. Yeah, you just they do you that way too. Yeah, if you if you bought some if you buy some land in Africa and you're not keeping up with um and you're not keeping up with things that's going on and you know not being able to I, I talk with them still. You know what I'm saying? I still talk with them, everything's straight. My land's still there, I still got my paper, everything's straight. But as some time go by, man, they gonna start building new shit on your land and sell it and move on and something like yeah, so yeah, you bought some land for if it is people like that. I really don't believe. I don't know though. I don't know how many people bought land from JT. I don't know. But it wasn't that many people coming to Africa. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that many people. It wasn't that many people. So 
I say if you did buy some land and you feel some type of way, however, which way you going up and down, if you never been, you should be thinking about taking care of it. You know what I'm saying? Don't just sit on it. You just spend money. You ain't go nowhere. You just sit down. You should be dig on it and try to find out some shit. Yeah, take care of that then. You ain't even moved. You ain't even go nowhere. You ain't even do nothing. This was like two years ago. Like two years ago, uh, I'm talking about the Burkina Faso City. That's why I, I ain't talking about Kenya. I'm talking about Burkina Faso. It's like two, three years ago and shit. Get your ass up and figure something out. Anybody else that made moves, you touched down, you was there, you was around, you seen where the land was, whatever like that, you seen these things. You top rank to go ahead and take care of your business. Me, I took care of other things, man. It was just a little funky ass thousand. You know what I'm saying? It was like, a, we ain't talking 10,000. We ain't talking 5,000. We ain't even talking 2,500. We talking about 1,000 that I made back real quick. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the biggest thing I say this, I say this, that I utilize, right? You know, uh, it was like a couple, it's like a couple things that I forgot what was going down in the capital. But yeah, this is, I'm, I'm, I, re, I reached out on that. I talked about that. I, I was talking to them in the capital, but I was in the village doing my own thing. But everything just was coming full circle for me. You know, my music doing good. The vlogging was picking up. I wasn't tripping on the vlog. I just want to tell y'all the truth. I'm not a vlogger. I'm a music artist. You know what I'm saying? But I was just telling the truth, man. I ain't told. I ain't told not a damn lie. Damn, hold on, let me check, let me check these messages out again. I'm hooking up a village for hey, shout out, hey, you do your thing. If you want to do that, that's, that's going to be some little bread, though. And be careful, too, because, you know, I know uh, the brothers. I was ups I'm, I was upset about it, man. I was upset about the brothers and sisters in Ghana who had the village going on, and they destroyed their village. So, you know, stay focused, man. It probably would have been something different if we would have did that. It probably would have been some different. It might have been the mili the military be running. In this was happening while I was in Burkina Faso that the military was running in these villages, snatching women and shit. It might have been something else. Like they probably would have came, and if we was really lit like that, like we really up, we really turned up, and it's probably like like ten families, and we lit. We got everything we need. They probably wouldn't have liked that, bro. And we shining. They probably wouldn't have liked that. It probably wouldn't have worked out that good. This is happening to their own. And they all running in the villages. This was happening while I was out there. You know what I'm saying? And I was upset about seeing that in Ghana. But you know what I'm saying? You got you get it's about how you move though, you know. Shout out ATM 10. I ain't even see you up in here. I was testing your last every time. Yeah, I remember you, I remember you saying that it's just like let me finish up before I say something. I was just saying, you basically said he didn't give you the land or document. Yeah, he didn't give me the documents. I had the land. I didn't go see the land, though. I just never seen the land because I was moving quick. When I got out there, I shot straight out to uh, the village. And so I never got to see the land. He was probably salty. I, he probably salty about that look. Like, this nigga busting moves and doing this and that. And he didn't even take time to go see the land. No, nah, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't see no land. I ain't get to go see the land. Uh, but I never received no paperwork. That, that's my problem. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. But it took it took some time for me moving dumb. I should have been on that. I was on it when I bought the land myself, you know what I'm saying? And when it bought some land, land, I was on there and it took care of the paperwork. I, I took care of all that, but Buying it through JT, you know what I'm saying? I was just excited to, to make my way. Coming out all that bread. Money for tickets, too, costs a lot, boy. Five kids, a wife, all, like seven of us. Luggage, all this shit. Them tickets were on a joke, too. Two and fro. That shit was hot. 
I had bought my own bike too. I did have a dread up. Yeah, I could. I was like, the drivers, it, it got to a point where, you know, I got like a, some little, I guess you would like call it an Uber driver. They got taxis, Uber. I, I did those type of things a couple times because I ain't want to be on no hitting up the boat foundation and be, I, this is the thing. I didn't want everybody in my business where I'm going and what I'm doing all the time. You see what I'm saying? So that was the thing. I don't need you all in my business. It's just like her. Well, I ain't gonna say it's just like I ain't gonna say it's just like America. It's a little bit different, you know. There's so many Uber drivers and shit going on that motherfucker can't really catch up with you the same. Depending on if somebody's just popping up at your crib all the time, maybe they can catch. You, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed riding my bike. I enjoy riding my bike, riding my car. And, you know, driving around, it felt good, you know what I mean, to ride wherever. Even going to the grocery store with my whole family. And we coming back, they'd be looking like, because, you know, we coming up the steps with it. Like, when we come back from the grocery store, we going up the steps with it, going back down the steps, bag at the bag, you know what I'm saying? But when they looking like, these niggas, these niggas is really fucking up going grocery shopping for real, you know what I'm saying? But before... I did that. I was having to have the drivers to take us to the store. I don't like that. Because you're seeing all these bags and shit. But I got five kids and a wife. Yeah, we, we we need a lot of food, bro. Because guess what? In the spot we at, I don't have the opportunity to have little chickens that's running around. And, you know, I had the goats that's running around. It's not like that in front of where I was living. I don't have the opportunity to grow the crops where I am. It's a whole bunch of concrete there. It's, I don't have the opportunity. And so I'm trying to get the land and everything. Then I can grow and have my animals and have everything rolling. But you just want it in a position. This is play a game, bro. Like, y'all gotta listen. You, they, it, it feel better if you're in a position to just pay rent. Just pay. Just pay. Just pay rent and Paid them for food or this and then and I saw I was fighting to get to the position where all that was gonna be dead. I, I wouldn't even need money no more. This is the point I was trying to reach. You see what I'm saying? That's where I was headed. I, I didn't want money no more. So I make it to the point where damn I got the animals, I got the crops, I got the land. I already I got the land, you know what I'm saying? But uh overall I just think a little different. You know, so I think a lot different. You know, I'm not the same, and I don't have the same intentions as other motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But it's all love. And I don't feel cool that a bunch of my people, our own people, you know what I'm saying? Feeling upset or feeling like they got played out of some bread or whatever. Yeah, go, go about it and get your bread. You know what I'm saying? I'm a go, I do it in a different way. You know, so I do it in a different way. You know, just for me knowing business, I could do it in a small, in a, in a different way. You know, I don't have to do it in a, I don't got to take it to court, you know what I'm saying? I could do it just like something like this, and I'm not getting paid off this, but I could do it like something like this. Don't you hear my mind? I'm not getting paid off this YouTube shit. You feel me? I've been doing this, so I know business very well. That's how I get my money. It's everywhere. Anything. Go, go check out all my videos. It's on my music. It's on every video. That's why they took my monetization from me. Because I always play my music. I always make money off my music. I'm always, you know what I'm saying? So, no one business. So, yeah. Put that nigga name in the beginning of that bitch. And let's run this shit. Let's see how it run. Yeah, motherfucker. If a million people show up, I'm going to make money on my music playing in the background before JT. And that's Gucci. I ain't tripping. I know business very well. You know what I'm saying? So, the 5,000 hit me like, ooh, damn, five bands. Ten bands? God damn, hold on, what did you buy, bro? I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, how much land? 
Then I heard ATM say, Yeah, I bought some shea butter. I think he said he bought a bucket too. I remember when he had that going. I ain't buy no shea butter. I ain't want none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just looking at it like, damn, yeah, motherfucker, spend some bread. Go get your bread, bro. Take care of your business. Salute to you. But yeah, in my situation, I'ma just keep rolling it like I rolled it, bro. I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I ain't, I ain't got trip off no band. You know, one, my my band is not your five or your ten or whatever else goes on and on. You know what I'm saying? And even if other people want to get involved and they spend five hundred or a band like me, that's cool too. I just want you to know I made it back. I already made that, and I don't. I already got land. I got a lot of land, bro. This is not bragging, too. Man, I don't want y'all to feel. I'm not that type of brother. I don't talk shit. I don't be bragging. I don't be doing that. I'm not that type. Of, I'm not that type of guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you the truth. This is true. This is different. Who was in the village with me? Where everybody came when they came to Burkina Faso? Who was in Zabra with me? Where did you see me? Did you see me in, in Ouagadougou or did you see me in Zabra? A lot of people probably saw me in Zabra. But there's probably a lot of people that saw me move back and forth, you know what I'm saying? See me and Zabra, see me in the walk do, but you don't know what I was going through and things like that. My mind was way away from JT. I wasn't thinking about no JT. I had so much going on. And I got I got five kids and wife with me and shit. I gotta take care of business. You know what I'm saying? Things different. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had one argument with JT. I'm not having one with him right now. Nigga, I, JT, if you watching. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about that shit. You know how I ran it up. You know me, and you know how I ran it up. You know what I did. You was probably surprised, though. You was probably surprised. You was probably like, this nigga, I didn't think he was going to do that. His wife was talking to my wife. Yeah, his wife was talking to my wife. Things like that behind the scenes. I talked to him a couple of times. But my wife talking to his wife. We all way in the village. They all way in the capital. You see what I'm saying? So it ain't no big deal. It ain't no big deal on my end. Like I don't wish no bad on them. Like I don't wish that nigga dead, or I ain't I ain't wishing they come and lock this nigga up, and I ain't wishing those things. I'm not. I'm not, if he did dope or whatever, I'm not to the car. I'm not, I'm not, it don't it don't raise me up. It don't help me. If he diss me, if he come out ever diss me, it wouldn't mean nothing to me. I wouldn't even have. I wouldn't waste my time. I'm trying to fire back. You know what I'm saying? I just probably do something like this and make a live and be like, damn, bro, diss me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> damn, bro, stay diss me, bro. I can't believe that. You know what I'm saying? Let me get to these uh, comments once again. King Messiah, that, that was you, bro. Much peace and love, man. Much peace and love. You know what I mean? And I, I ain't got no problem with you and nothing like that neither. I, I was just like, you know what? Let me just go back and explain it a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? But I really, I really, uh, I understand that if I see a nigga on the street. This is different, though. This way different. Heads up is different. You see a nigga take a thousand out of my hand. No nigga ever took nothing from me, heads up, ever. Ain't no man ever took nothing from me, heads up. A nigga asked for things nicely, or I just gave it to him. You know what I'm saying? No nigga ever took shit from me, ever. Ever. You know what I'm saying? If it's something like that, or if it's something like if I had my mind set on, you know what, I'm coming out to Burkina Faso and the Wagadougou, the only thing on my mind, then i probably be upset too. You know, it don't make me feel good to see brothers, you know, uh, get done dirty. I don't know if uh, Queen L got her land out there, but I will say if she do, they probably blessed her, bro, because she was behind the both foundations, so they probably showed a little... But I think I heard AT and T saying she was saying how she got her land where she buried, where she uh put, put her daddy ashes at. She might do got that land because she was behind the both foundation. So they might have showed the love and was like, you know what, he got rid of this land, but we gonna make sure you got this. So you ain't gotta worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know how everybody's situation went. I don't know who all transferred their lands. I don't know how the transfer is going. I don't know if we transferred. And 
that's a good question too. Is there anybody who transferred and you still got your uh, land in Kenya and you straight and you able to go? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know who you would talk to now. Because you know a lot of things that change. Then I started seeing him coming back and forth. I started seeing him coming back and forth. He'd be in Kenya, then he'd be back in America, then he'd be in Kenya, he'd be back. I started looking at a lot of things. I was looking at, this ain't no disrespect to you, bro, but I was, I was tripping off how his wife shook him out there. It was so many red flags and things I'm seeing. But then I'm like, just let me keep rolling. But one day, you know what I'm saying? This ain't got nothing to do with him. It was one day I had to talk to myself. And I was thinking about the land I bought, the things I was doing. I was like, you know, I got to go back to go and do some things for my family. So that's why, you know, I had to, I had to get back to America to take care of my family and shit like that. I never have a, a long stance like that. Everybody was shook, man. Not shook, but everybody was kind of sad, you know, that I had left and shit, too. I came back and got the biggest hoods and had the best talks with my family, got everything cleared up, you know what I'm saying? But everything's straight. They say, I'm doing mine in Kenya, okay. I heard there ain't no weed in Ghana. I don't know, but it's in Burkina. That's all I say. You have a YouTube family now, big bro. Hey, salute to everybody who pulled up because, you know, I've been getting love on my, uh, I've been getting love on my YouTube for a minute. You know what I'm saying? It's just so many people been flooding in, like ATM Tim said, so he been, uh, he been behind it the whole time. There's so many people coming in. There's so many things happening that, no disrespect, I don't remember you, bro. I don't remember you. I didn't think you was no troll. Oh, I would have blocked you. <laughs> I would have blocked you, you know what I'm saying? No, I have I had my brothers from my hood. They was they was monitoring shit for me on my page. So yeah, my hood was monitoring the page. You know what I'm saying? I would I would have blocked you up off of that. So evidently everything was straight, because I ain't never blocked you. So everything was good, you know what I'm saying? They say you need a license to push out there. Yeah, you gotta have that. You gotta have a license. I still got my license. I just took this. Just took this for love. You know what I'm saying? That was my old license for my bike. Yeah, but you gotta have it for the car. You gotta have it for the bike. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a license. Only reason I'm showing you how the license is it's an old license, so I wouldn't have showed you that. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, it's all to the G. Hold on, let me show you my... Got the wristbands, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put... I ain't put these up for sale yet, but these USB wristbands, they got hella gigabytes on them. I think it was like 30 gigs. I'm probably putting a lot of music videos on them. I had them up for sale that everybody could catch up. Catch up on the music. Or you can just get one blank. You don't want shit on it. You just want your own. I had them going too. You know what I'm saying? I got some things going on. You know, I got a lot of things for sale. Got my merch going crazy. The merch was doing all right. But you know, when I got back though, it was like everything went up, bro. And I, I turned everything up, bro. I had to turn everything up, bro. I turned everything up. But shout out to Bikini Fossil. Shout out to my adventure. Shout out to being in the village and talking to them and figuring things out. You know what I'm saying? And showing them love. And I think I got I got blessed because I was blessed. I ain't asked for nothing. Let me get to let me get back to the comments. I ain't finna be too long. I, I ain't even realized. I was on here this long. Let's say I went 13 minutes. Yeah, shopping was the best. Being able to be in my own whip, we could pull up. We could pull up here. Oh no, stop here. Yeah, my wife can be like that while we on the road. Now pull up here. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta learn the roads too. I got real good with the roads and learning how they. You know what I'm saying? I, I learned real good being on a motorcycle or being. You know what I mean? I, I did my thing, bro. I ain't know what happened to you after the bike accident. I'm gonna get into it. That's gonna be a lie too. I just ain't rapped about it. I'm gonna get into that though. I'm glad you said something about that. Shout out 18 and 10. I'm glad you said something about that. 
It's a reason why I ain't talk to y'all about this. It's a reason. It's a reason behind it. I don't even know what I want. I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know when I'm, I want to bring it out for real, for real. I'm trying to think of how I want to do it because this is it's a special moment and it's big. It's big that y'all need to hear. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Hundred percent true. But what I will say is, but what I will say is, just to cut to the chase. In case motherfuckers try to do anything, you know what I'm saying? Even try to take my page down. I didn't get in a motorcycle accident. This was the day I bought my land. I got my paperwork. And later on that day, I was buying, I was waiting on the chicken to get done. I was waiting on the chicken to get done and everything like that. But we'll get to that. I'll rap to y'all about that. Stay tuned on me, man. I got a couple, I got I got I got some shit to talk about, man. I got some things to talk about. And it ain't about JT. No, salute to him and his family. I ain't got no hate for him. I ain't got no hate for him. I ain't mad at him about shit. You know what I'm saying? You can shoot me in videos, though, bro. If you, if you listen, if you looking or you run across it, you can shoot me in videos. I don't give a damn about I turned up, bro. I been up. I been up. I turned St. Louis up. Yeah, who don't know? Shout out to Sexy Red. Yeah, St. Louis up right now. You know what I'm saying? St. Louis up right now. Everybody seeing St. Louis. Yeah, St. Louis doing their thing right now. I ain't gonna say it's because of me at all. I'ma just say that walking in the streets, everybody know me. Everybody know me. You know what I'm saying? So I had to carry things a lot, a lot different. You know, I move like I move. I'm like, oh, you know, I got to do things a lot different now. Motherfuckers, remember me. Motherfuckers on my family job like, damn, this show. Such and such, just such. A, all my family telling me people that they job, knowing me. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to move different. But, yeah, I'm going to talk about that, though. I think it's principle of the matter. It is the principle. I respect your... I respect the principle too. I respect the principle of it. Have it roll on your end. I respect that. Hold your nuts and stay on it. You know what I'm saying? On my end, that's a whole another different principle with a matter. I ain't even had no talks on the reason I bring out this information now is just so you, you have it. I always told the truth. People who follow my path, I just tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? So. When you looking at my pay, yeah, this is the way I was moving these things I was doing. So it's different for me than it is for other brothers and sisters. So I respect that and take care of your business. You know what I'm saying? Handle, handle your, handle your business. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Melvin. I try, I try to do my thing. I just try to keep it real. Say you tired of ATM playing being victim while trying to capitalize off of <laughs> hey hey that might be the case but that's a smart thing to do instead of thinking that you have to take it another way take it that way drain it if you can get it off of YouTube or if, if it ain't been built that way yet. Learn, just take. Why, why not? Make a hundred videos, make a million videos, and keep it, keep it going. Shit, why not? If that's the way he can get his bread back, you know what I'm saying? That's, I'm not mad at nobody, bro. However you decide to do anything, you know what I mean? I could have just been another nigga. Like y'all could have just been like, y'all remember you? This nigga never talked again. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't care about it, but if a bro care about it or whatever, I'm not caring about it to the point where it's making me no money. My music been playing in the background, I'm making me money though. That's making me money, but that band ain't as important as five to ten or twenty or whatever people talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's important. Do what you gotta do, bro. They say we not legal in Bikini. Yeah, it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> illegal. Yeah, it's illegal, bro. I remember. I, I should, I, should I say that one? Should I say it, man? Nah, man. Shut up, bro. Don't even say it, bro. It's illegal, though. It's illegal out there. It's weird. I ain't, I ain't saying I smoke none. 
But they got weed in Burkina Faso. It's illegal. I know a couple people that got caught up with that and they got arrested for that. It's illegal out there, though. You know what I'm saying? I smoked tobacco the whole time I was out there. Both the accident doesn't. Wasn't no hater situation. You know. You know. It, I don't know. I don't, you know. You know. It is weird that people think I was in an accident. I wasn't in no accident, though, bro. I'll tell you that. Oh, off the head, though. I wasn't in no accident, bro. I was in one accident, but I have one video where I really showed y'all where I scratched my show and I scratched my arm. And I'm trying to think. I, it was a scratch on my knee. That was a real accident because I was trying to hurry up and come from the studio and buy my family some food real quick. And I had hurried up and try, try to break the light and hurry up and hit that left. And then I slid on the ground and scratched myself on the left side. I have a video up on my page about that's a real accident. I didn't get hurt. I got right back on the motorcycle, made it to the food shop, got the food. I was out. This other shit they talk about. No. But we go talk about that, though. We go get into that, though. You know what I'm saying? We go get we go get into that. Shout out to Digital Dre, STL, born and raised. Oh damn! I don't even know. I don't even know about a bro who's 21. The 21 year old Candy Bikini. And you, you probably I don't know if you're talking about that one light skinned bro who had the locks too. Much peace and love to everybody, though, man. Damn, that, that man, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if, uh... Oh, uh, to get paid for your music in the background, you just got to take care of business, however you want to do it. Uh, the, a good way to do it is, like, you know, get you a distro key going. Get you a tune code going or set up you an account um, for, your, for your music publishing. You know what I'm saying? And then anytime your music be played on any platform, whether it's on the internet, or on social media sites, anything. You know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll get your bread off there. So... Hey, you talking about me losing weight? Did, 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 hold on. You say, did I lose weight if I came? I don't know if you talking about me or if you talking about a uh, if you talk about a uh, metro. I lost. I lost. But if 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 you talk about me, I say I probably lost. If I came, if I saw, I lost a little weight. Cause I was on the move so much, but I wait. I, I actually got more in shape when I came back than I was in Burkina Faso. So I lost, I lost weight, but it was like a, it was more healthier weight. You know, but I was on the move though in Burkina, so yeah, I lost weight in Burkina Faso. Out there every day, outside every single day, they call it the hottest country, the hottest country in Africa. Yeah, so I was outside every single day. I had something to do. I was on the road, so I lost a little weight out there. And then when I got back, I lost even more weight because you know I don't I don't eat uh I don't eat like a uh, store stuff and everything natural with me. So you know I lost a little bit more weight, toned up a lot more, worked out a lot more, doing my thing. But uh, yeah, I've been doing my thing, man. But much peace and love to everybody who pulled up, man. You know, I think I should cut to the chase. And the next live will be about when I had my accident that they call an accident. We'll talk about that, huh? We'll talk about that. And whatever else you got a question about, just shoot it, man. Just shoot it. You know, just shoot it in the comment board. If you got a question about some things, like, no, nah, you know what? What happened about this or what happened about that? What about this? What about that? No, shoot in the comment board. And I'm gonna be going through my videos. Uh I'm gonna be trying to post up some more shorts. Cause I got a lot of uh 
I got a lot of shorts, man. I got a lot of videos. I got a lot of photos, you know, that I ain't even posted. You know, I ain't going to say I got a lot of videos. I pretty much posted all the videos, but I could cut them up and put some up in the short. But uh, I'm going to be posting some things. It's good to see everything uh, rocking back. I, the reason why a lot of y'all lost tabs with me is because I took my name uh, back to my original name. You know, uh, my name was Kabaya. I had it Kabaya in uh, Burkina Faso. Kabaya is my name. My name is Timothy. Kabaya is Hebrew for Timothy. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when I was doing it, I was on that mindset, you know what I'm saying, heavy. But then, you know, after a while, I'm like, man, I got to take it back. My business is Timmy the God. My music name is Timmy the God. So I was like, man, I'll take my shit back. That's why a lot of people misconstrued and like, man, I don't even, is that you, Timmy the God? I don't remember no Timmy the God name, but I remember you. You see what I'm saying? So that's why it's probably a little confusion. Everybody pretty much getting caught up again. You know what I'm saying? But much peace and love to everybody. You know, shout out to TBM Tim. I mean, I said TBM Tim. Damn. ATM Tim. I done said my own name. That's TBM. I'm TBM. He ATM. Don't y'all ever confuse that. Now, but shout out to ATM Tim. You know, cuz Cuddy, I ain't got no problem with Y'all niggas be making me laugh a little bit. I don't know your situation, but it ain't funny. Because y'all got a situation. So I respect that. You know, uh, JT, hey. You know me, bro. And you know, like, you probably still like that. And this nigga right here is still holding it down, bro. This nigga is really doing his thing still. Shout out to JT. I hope your wife doing good. I hope your family doing good. You no, know, shout out to everybody who out there in, uh, in, in Africa is doing their thing. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned, man. Next live. We go talk about the accident I had. How about that, man? We go talk about that. But I didn't have no accident, but we go talk about that, though. You know what I'm saying? Much peace and love. Salute.